Hello guys, in today's video, we're going to check out the best Sony E-mount lenses in this year. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I've tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability, and many more. To find out more information about these best Sony E-mount lenses, you can check out the description below. If you want to get a best Sony E-mount lenses according to your needs, then watch the video till the end, and then decide to buy. At the first position of our list, we have Sony 18-105mm-4 OSS, a somewhat heavy lens but which has a constant f-4 aperture and a versatile focal range, which can be useful if you are looking for a good lens to take on a trip. It is solid, the focus is fast and precise, and it has an optical stabilizer to be able to obtain sharp pictures in all circumstances. Apparently, there is a lot of deformation if you shoot in RAW at 18, not so much in JPEG. It's also one of the best Sony E-mount lenses for video. Another similar, or even better option would be the 16-7-10, m but it cost almost twice as much. Moving on to the next at number 2, with Sigma 16 f 1.4 DC DAN Contemporary. This is a fantastic wide-angle lens, great for low-light situations, and a versatile focal range useful for landscapes, astrophotography, and street photography. It's very well built and feels solid, and gives extremely sharp images even in low light, from center to corners, with nice colors and contrast. The only weakness is that there's a bit of barrel distortion, however, you shoot your subjects too close. The large aperture of f 1.4 is excellent for low light and for creating a nice depth of field. It's not that compact, and could be a little smaller, but fast lenses need lots of glass to get that light. Autofocus is smooth and fast, one of the fastest from Sigma, actually, and it performs very well in video. But since it's non-stabilized, you'll have to combine it with a stabilized camera like the A6500 to get optimal results. That being said, it should not discourage you to get it if you mainly shoot photos and your camera doesn't have in-body image stabilization. Overall, it's one of the best lenses for Sony E-mount APS-C cameras, and easy to recommend thanks to its impressive performances. The number 3 position is held by Sigma 3rd MF-1.4 DC DN Contemporary. This is a superb compact lens equivalent to a 45mm on a full-frame camera. With a great versatility, it's well-suited for portraits, reporting, product photography or street photography. It suffers from moderate barrel distortion and minor vignetting when at f 1.4 but overall, its optical quality is just excellent. Color rendition is amazing, it's exceptionally sharp, and it's very large aperture of f 1.4 gives a superb bulk and makes it very good for low light conditions. Handling is excellent, its quality of construction is very good, autofocus is good and it's a lightweight. The negative points, it's not weather sealed and it has no optical stabilization. That might be a problem if you mainly shoot video and your camera doesn't have in-camera stabilization. That being said, it gives amazing results and it's an affordable lens, which makes it one of the best for Sony E-mount APS-C cameras. Next at number 4, we have Sony 1018F-4 OSS. The best wide-angle lens for Sony E-mount cameras, it's great for traveling and if you want to shoot architecture photos, landscapes, car interiors, real estate photography, basically for anywhere you'll need a wide field of view. It has OSS optical status shot, so it's good for handheld videos, especially if you do vlogging. It's also really compact and surprisingly light. That being said, if you're looking for a good wide-angle lens for your Sony APS-C mirrorless camera, then the Sony 1018F-4 is a must-have. The number 5 position is held by Sony A50F-1.8 OSS, one of the best compatible E-mount lenses, great for portraits and street photography. It offers very sharp images with little distortion or vignetting, and you get a superb bulk even in low light. Autofocus is silent and accurate, and it has an integrated optical stabilizer so it's especially suitable if you make video. With this type of lens you clearly realize the difference with the basic kit lens, and if you're a beginner who's looking for the best amount lens you'll be able to shoot impressive pictures very quickly. The number 6 position is dominated by Sony's i16 7mf 4 za OSS. An excellent lens if you only need an all-in-one lens, very versatile, wide-angle, portraits, landscapes, compact and not heavy so pretty useful for travel. 
It delivers pretty sharp images with a good color rendition, and it's particularly good for video thanks to its silent autofocus. This lens is controversial since there are some mixed user reviews about it. Sony sold some bad copies with soft corners. It's not weather sealed, a bit pricey, and a little bit old. However, its overall optical performances are really good. It's well built and simply easy and pleasant to use if you don't want to always be switching multiple lenses. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Sony E30 MF 3.5 Macro. This is the perfect lens and maybe the best option if you want to take pictures of insects, flowers, or small details with your Sony E mount camera. It offers surprising results. As long as you don't move a muscle, there's no integrated optical stabilization. You can see incredible details on a picture of a spider, for example. Drawbacks, in addition to the lack of integrated stabilization, the autofocus haunts a little bit when the light is low. Apart from that, it's a fun lens to use. The number 8 position is held by Sony FE 85 f 1.8. Technically, this lens is optimized for full-format cameras, but it works perfectly on Sony APS-C sensor cameras. The field of view then becomes equivalent to a 127.5M. It's actually one of the best Sony E-mount lenses for portraits or events photography. It's sold at a reasonable price and delivers sharp images with a very beautiful book. The autofocus is incredibly fast and quiet, and its weight is light enough thanks to a mainly plastic construction. In short, if you are looking for a perfect lens for everyday portrait or even landscape photography, it's a must-have. Next at number 9, we have Sony 55-210 f 4.56.3 SS. If you haven't already had it with your camera, it often sold as a kit lens. It can be an interesting lens to own when you want to shoot from a distance. Let's be honest, image quality is good but not outstanding. But there are not so many telephoto zoom lens options for Sony E-mount mirrorless cameras. And it's a fun lens to use if you want to shoot animals or people from a distance. It has integrated optical stabilization, which is a good point for a zoom of this type. And it's sold at an affordable price. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Sony FE 7300F-4GOSS. If you need more reach for wildlife photography or sports events, a better option than the 55210 is the Sony 7300F-4.5 5.6 GOSS. Although this lens is optimized for full format cameras, it works perfectly on Sony APS-C sensor cameras, and you'll get a 105-450 equivalent. So that's twice the focal length of the 55-210. There's no real alternative, but overall it offers excellent performances, it focuses quickly, and offers pleasing results in terms of image quality when used in good conditions. It's much, much sharper than the 55-210. Its OSS is amazing and is incredibly useful for handheld shots but images are sharper when OSS is turned off. The main drawback is its weight, it's heavy and bulky, and it's variable aperture. It will struggle in low light situation, and you'll have to increase your ISO, or only use it in good lighting situations. That's all for today. We upload camera and camera accessories review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.